focus on a process that is solid, the three to one ratio that we've practiced all week, right? That will help you carry on to the funded account, okay? Uh, do you want to touch a little bit on the buffer? Like, if, Well, you know what, before we do that, because I think we, I'm, ju I'm, I'm jumping, I'm putting the cart before the horse, let's them explain to them the business model. I think uh, let, let's go over what funded accounts are, how they work, and then we'll go a little bit more into the payout and the um, buffer that you should consider. Uh, because if you don't leave a buffer, and you take everything on your first payout, well, the next day you blow up and you lost your account. So how does that work? It's a little bit like the insurance model. That's how I see it. It's like the insurance, like insurance business, right? So let me pull one account. We are going to do a Google search. First of all, I want to show you something. This is why I want you to practice, 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 practice. Look here, if I do a Google search and I say prop funded trading accounts, look what's showing up. Look how many sponsor ads do you get? One, two, three, four, five. And then look after that. You don't even know any of those firms. Never heard about a lot of those firms right there. So number one, <laughs> you need to be very careful, right? Because some firms pay, some firms don't pay. Some firms are scammed, a lot of them are, few are paid. So number one, in the proper firm account, we are going to eliminate any firms that are non-US based. Because at least with US based, we have some legal recourse, we have some CFTC uh, uh, protection, there's more regulation in the US. So number one, we eliminate all the international problems. They are out of the they are out of the, the process. Number two, we are going to focus on the US one. And then number three, out of the US one, which one we know by trader networks, by trader friends that pay. Because at the end of the day, it's all about not only passing, which is hard, but pay, all right? So now let me show you, I'll take an example of any trades and any profits. Right now, I don't want you to really focus on the, 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 the which trading firms because you have a lot of work. And I'll show you why, because you'll lose a lot of money. So let's go to trade day because I know the guys, I saw them there. Let's take one, for instance. Okay. So those guys, number one, based in Chicago, all right? Number two, we're going to look, and they all look similarly the same, pricing. <coughs> I just want to focus on this for now, and I'm going to take a picture, because they all work the same. And, and, and Travis will tell you it's about the same logic for all of them. Of course, there's nuances. You need to read their payout rules, their, their um, uh, passing challenge rules. But overly speaking, they all work around the same. So we're going to take this picture. We're going to focus on this picture for your notes. Okay? And then we're going to focus on nothing but this format. <clears throat> so let's go, let's stay on the site. So here, you have a 10K account, 25K account, 50K account. So number one, you have tiers of how much they are willing to give you to trade if you pass. Number two, 
What is the size limit associated with that tier? So far, so good. $10,000 account, I can trade up to a maximum position of 1 ES, 10 MES or 10 MNQ, or it could be gold, or it could be any futures that they accept. And so on, and so forth, and so on, and so forth. If you continue going like this, they have a 100K account, they have a 150K account, they have a 250K account, and that's it. All right? Now, one of the reasons I personally like the 50K account usually is because, look, on the 100K account, the max trailing drawdown for the day is 3,000, which is a 3%. But here, it's $2,000 on 50K, right? So that is 4%. So think about it. Why this one is better than this one? Because look, the max drawdown before they shut you down until the next month is 3% here. But if I am correct and my math is correct, this is 4%. Are we clear? Yes or no? So logically, logically, this is better because of the drawdown. I can lose percentage-wise compared to the, my starting point, a little bit more than this one. Then they all have the same. They have a profit target they expect from you and a max drawdown for the day, for, 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 for the, your end. So you start like this, you have 50K. They are going to say this, you start the day, they said, dude, 48K is your max daily drawdown well that's max total drawdown yeah for the account max daily drawdown that means if you go from here to there and below boom you have to either reset your account pay again a fee of 132 a month or they have like a reset fee usually it's less it might be 90 50 whatever it is or you wait the next month on your billing period to start again so the next month, if you build on, let's say we are the 19, and you blow up your $2,000 max trailing max drawdown, and you blow up this uh, on the 21st, you will have to wait for the 19th of the next month, which is, which is July, for resetting again at 50. Is everybody clear on that? Okay. Yeah, Kristen, Kristen was just asking, is it draw down per day allowed? Um, and no, what, what Mark is showing there is that it's the max drawdown for the account. So if you, if you draw down, if you start with 50K and you draw down to 48K, like he said, then the account is blown at that point. And you'll need to either pay to reset or like he said, wait till the, the following billing, uh, the billing in the following month for the account to reset. So um yeah that's that's the max drawdown for the account not a daily thing each one each company will also have its own usually will have its own daily limit as well right. um but what mark is showing here is the max uh drawdown for the account so yeah so look here i had it on my notes but um, so how it works it's like an insurance company mm -hmm. i want you to really get the concept on how those guys make money and how we need to 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 win the system. It's like an insurance company. Thousands of traders pay a monthly fee to qualify for the challenge or the funded account. So. Well, we're, we're going to explain the entire business on how it works because it, it's fascinating as a business as well. For the funded accounts. In addition to that, 
If you pass, they will charge you, charge you either a one ton fee or a monthly fee for the live funded account. Which, which is what, usually 149, right, Travis? Okay. Yeah, that's about the industry average. 140, all right? So, think about it. In this particular prop firm, they're all different, and by the way, this is why you need to do exactly what we tell you. We have experience. We've done this for over two years, guys, and uh, by the way, just a refresh on my story, this is how I started. Series 63, 755, I was a stock prop firm funded account person when I started on level two, level three. That's how I started 30 years ago, okay? So this is nothing new. The difference is this is only futures, right? So they make a monthly fee plus an initiation fees on the thousands of traders. So here's what happened. Statistically, we have already studied. 30% will pass to fund it and will have to pay the initiation, initiation fee of about 149, depending, depending on firms, guys. Every firm, we, we show you the concept, right? So they are making tons of fees. Then they will pay if the rules are respected, if the payout rules are respected, because they have tons of rules for payout. The payout rules are respected. Respected. They will pay. They will pay. Right? Uh, 50 to 90% of your profits. But think about it, it's like the insurance business. If my stats are right, can someone help me? If my, the, 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 the engineers and the tech guy in the room, <clears throat> if my, te, my, my, my stats are right, 30% out of 100 pass, and 65% blow up, so what's left out of 100? Can someone give me a number, please? If 65% of 30 blow out, that means? 35%. Uh, let's say about 10, about 10, about eight are left. So maybe, maybe, maybe I'm right. I'm just did it fine of your profit, but maybe they end up paying seven to eight people out of 100. Is that about right, guys? Huh? Okay, like that, like roughly. So it's like the insurance business. If they get 90, what you say, 93 people to pay you 100 plus their initiation fee, 200, right? And they only have to pay seven or eight people, 50 to 90% of the profit. They usually have the money, you know, to pay the few that wins. Now, the way it they, they, they works, and I don't want to overcomplicate it for everybody, but you go from SIM, right? You go from SIM evaluation. to SIM funded. So what's the difference? SIM funded is you, all you have to be worried as a trader is, hey, do I get paid? You will get paid from the profit pool. That's the best way to explain, like the insurance, all right? Why are they doing that? As a business, they are doing that because they are like, you know what? 
If this guy loses $10,000, I don't want to pay for it. But if this guy only makes $1,500, I'm going to pay for it because I got $150,000 from the 93 people that lose and keep on paying the fees every month. So they move you from a SIM evaluation to a SIM funded. Now, if they see, if they see that you are a killer trader, they do two things. See, I'm going deep into how it works. They do two things. A, they are like, fuck that. We are not going to pay that guy from our pool of profit. So A, they put you live. So now you have your own account live, which means every profit comes from your work, from your real profit, and every losses comes from your real losses. But also here's what they do that very few people do. They shadow ghost, they shadow copy your trade. Think about it. It's like, uh, what, what's the show, Travis? The show like, you know, when, when they take all the contestants and they try to find the best singer in the US. Um, like American Idol or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, American Idol. This shit is no different than American Idol. They look for the best of the best, and then they are going to copy them. <laughs> Do you see them? So they, they with them, because me, I am an, an entrepreneur as well, so I understand very well the business model of this. Yeah? They are copying your trade, and then now, now, now they have no risk, because if you are a really good trader, they don't care. It's your account. And it's your buffer. You built a buffer in the account. Now, there is a dirty secret in the industry, and I was talking to Travis last week, that I didn't know when I talked to one of the CEO, is they only are allowed per broker to give you one live account. Meaning what? If the trade, if the prop firm, guys, don't ask questions and listen, please, because we are saving you two to four years of banging your head against the table. So listen and listen, okay? If they only, uh, oh yeah, they only, Allow per broker to give you one live account, meaning that if the prop firm allows you five to 20 accounts funded, you know now, you have deep knowledge, you know now, you know, you know now, that only one is live, and they will let you know. And Four to nineteen are sim funded. Now, do you give a shit? No. So long you get paid. Correct, Travis. I'm just like explaining how the. Yeah, business. no, it, it, that's exactly right. It doesn't it really doesn't matter to us. We're not as traders. We're not necessarily going to see a major difference if we're trading on a sim account or if we're trading in the live market. I mean, there's there's going to be a little bit of a difference, but not nearly enough to. You know the the fills and things like that will be a little different. Um, you know they're they're a little more friendly in the simulated environment. But other than that, you're really not going to know the difference. And all we care about as traders is, like you said, Mark, are we going to get paid? And that's all. That's all that matters. And that's it. That's all that matters. So now, I gave you stats. I showed you how the business works. Now let's go back to the rules. We're going to put rules, usual rules. Make sure to master each prop firms you want.
prop film rules that you want. Right? Their money, their house, their rule. Are we clear? Give me a quick yes, no. I don't give a shit if you like their rules, and I don't give two shit if you think it's out. Their house, their rule, their money. Otherwise, you go and you put your own money at risk, but it's not capital efficient. So their house, their business, their rule, we need to suck it up and learn and be good at that. And it might take you probably, you know, a couple of blowing funded uh, evaluation accounts before you are comfortable with their rules and everything. That, that, that is a very high probability. This is why before you go spend a stupid amount of money on prop firm fees that I want you to be prepared, prepared, prepared. The strategy is prepared. Your handle order entry on trading view connected to trade of eight works perfectly. Your, your trade of eight understanding of bracket is clear. Your dome entry and exit is clear. This needs three to four weeks. Going straight to the funded account is the most stupid move you can do. Are we clear? We literally are preparing you to go fight the war here. But if you don't listen and you pick up the, a the AK-47 and just say, oh, okay, I'm going to Iraq, I'm going to Afghanistan. Well, you're going to get shot. So we are preparing you to have the highest probability of success within the next 12 months to 18 months to build up between 50,000 to a million dollar funded accounts. Okay, next. So this is something that you need to be very, very patient because it's going to give you an incredible skill. At the end of the day, let's say six months from now, you're like, fuck those rules, fuck this, fuck that. There'll be two outcomes. And, and, and Travis, you feel free to jump in. The first out outcome will be, you will be a much, much, much better day trader than you were six months previous to that. I want to, yeah, and I want to stress that. Like yeah. you said, it, it, even if you don't agree with the, if you don't agree with the rules, if you, if you think it's difficult, if you're wondering why you're, you're not using your own money where you don't have to follow somebody else's rules, no matter what, going through that process hands down, it's going to make you a better trader, no doubt. So you will have better risk management control. You will have better control of yourself in your day trading. You will have a better understanding of risk management and bracket, probably things that you have not consistently done. You will have more confidence in the process of the probability power indicator. If anything, if anything, after six months, you'll be so good in the probability power indicator that it's going to trickle down also in your long-term investing and your swing trading with the tool. So there's a lot of pluses and the only minus is time. That's it. Because the fees are a little bit like an option. It's like a cheap option to have a higher capital. You know, that's the way I look at the prop firm fees. They are like an option. When you buy your, an option at 40 cents on the SPY ZODT, there are 40 cents option to possibly make a dollar fifty to two dollars return. I don't think you should see you should see your prop firm's fees the same. It's uh, you have two choices. Think about it. But I, uh, let's progress. So daily limit. Some firms have daily limits. $500, $1,000 a day, depending on the account size you take. Daily drawdown, like the 50K account we just saw, this was $2,000 with those guys. It seems that they didn't have a daily limit. Maybe they really, they used to have it. Yeah, it wasn't listed there. I don't know if maybe it's in <laughs> Yeah, so they used details, to have but... it. Each prop firm is different. Some have it, some doesn't have it. Now, here's where they get you. Consistency rules. A lot of them have a seven, a two days to a 14 days consistency rule. Then for each account, they give you a size limit, a time limit, because they don't want you to carry position past 4 p.m. Eastern time or 4.10 p.m. Eastern time. And then you can reopen 
when the market reopened at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Another rules that they have sometimes, some of them is like, if you trade two or five minutes before the report, let's say FOMC report and five, two, five minutes after, they'll take your account away. They'll reset you. They'll, they'll say, you failed. You failed the event. So usually those are the rules. Am I missing any, Travis? No, that, that pretty much covers most of the, uh, most of the common rules. Um, yeah. I don't I think there's anything else. Yeah. Daily end, drawdown, consistency rule, size limit, time limit, news limit. Are we clear? Like, you will have a combination of those, or one or two of those, I don't care, but I'm giving you all the rule, so that you know this is possible. Now, the only one you don't understand right now is this one. So we're clear about this. Daily limit could be $1,000 a day with a 2000 drawdown and a $50,000 account with size limit five contract and time limit before 4 p.m. And news limit is big news. And they tell you what the big news is two or five minutes. So this, I gave you all the rules. All right? Now. Can we just stand on here, Mark? Because there were some questions from Peter and Krishna about the, the drawdowns and things like that. So if we can clear that up real quick. So it's a the the daily end of the day drawdown this two thousand dollar example that mark is getting is giving that is the total drawdown for the account there's no time limit on that okay so if you start you start the account with 50k if it if you don't make any profits and you you just have losing day after losing day after losing day and you eventually draw down or you even do it in the first or second day and you the account goes down below forty eight thousand you blew the account, you have to, you have to start over. Now, or you wait to your next billion cycle. Right. And so let's say you make profits. You start with 50,000 and you make $1,000 your first day. Now you're at, the account's at 51,000. You still have a $2,000 drawdown, meaning now the account cannot go below $49,000. And if it does, you blow the account, you have to start over, either pay to reset or wait to the next billing to to reset the account. Okay. So it's the drawdown is, is the drawdown for the account. There's no time frame based on it. By so the way, <clears throat> sorry to interrupt. No, most, you're good. Most of them have, have this as well. It is they draw you down, they draw you down up to the 50K. And let's say now your max daily drawdown you know, your limit, your max total limit for the account drawdown is 50K. They are not going to keep on trailing you after that. Most of the firm, so you, you can go 51, 50.5, then you go back to 53, boom. You got that $3,000 profit target. Now you are funded. Okay. Usually after the 50K, they don't, they don't. Because now at this point, your max daily drawdown is the starting capital. Right. And, and so with, for this example, and, and Krishna, you mentioned, you know, making $6,000, $10,000 in a day. Well, this, this 50K account example that Mark is giving, the profit target, and, you know, we're talking about the evaluation. Um, you know, the, the drawdown exists when you get funded as well, and there's no limits um, as far as how much profit you can make at that point. But in the evaluation, the profit target is only $2,500. So $2,500 total. Once you hit $2,500 profit in the account, boom, you've passed the evaluation, you're in a funded account. So you're not looking to make $10,000 or $6,000 in a day. You know, you're, you're looking to make a couple hundred or maybe $500 a day. So, you know, when you're talking about losing $2,000 in a day or, or anything like that, you're, that's, the size is too big. You're not, you're not trying to trade that big. Yeah, look here. This is 2,500 on this particular guy here. That's the profit target. And they want consistency rule. Like they don't really explain it like here. Trade day, 
So they, they kind of... I do they have a consistency rule? I'm not sure if yeah, they do. They have a consistency rule. Okay. And, and that's kind of what, what pissed me off when they kind of hide it like this. They put, they, they, they make you buy it straight up. Uh, if you scroll back up, there was a, I think, a, maybe, oh uh, yeah, how it works, I guess, or FAQ. And you need to make sure you go through some of those FAQ before you sign up with a firm. We'll tell you what firms we we think, but look here. What is the minimum seven day? And the, this is the consistency rule. You see seven days of data. Oh yeah, so if you complete, if you reach the $2,500 target in less than seven days, you'll have to continue trading, is what they're saying. And they have also a consistency rule, but... Well, I mean, that's that's what this is, so... Um, yeah, but they don't know when... What are rules for funded? Yeah. So really, the, the way that they're... And I guess it's seven trading days, not seven calendar days, but... Um, so what they're... How they're base How they're structuring it is... They really want you to try to make three hundred and sixty dollars a day, really max. If you make more than three hundred and sixty dollars a yeah. day, rules and objectives. There you go. You always want to look at this and be because this is where they hide the little bit. And by the way, those guys don't hide it as much as others. Uh, so look, objective number one: trade for a minimum of seven days. Objective number two: reach the profit target, the twenty-five hundred we discuss on the fifty k account. Objective number three, be consistent in your profitability, no day greater than 30 days of your total profit. This is a very important and difficult one to do. Show us you have risk management skills by following these rules. Rule number one, do not exceed the maximum trailing drawdown, okay, of the account, which is the 2K. Show us you have discipline by following this rule. Rule two, only trade the permitted item. That's easy. For us, it's going to be uh, YM, NQ, ES, gold, that's it. Rule number three, only trade the product permitted by trade day. Okay? So, yes, yeah, so this 30, Mark, this 30 day, or this 30% um, consistency target. So, on the $2,500 profit. Yeah, so, let me show them. I have yeah. calculated. Yep. It'll be, it'll be a lot easier. Yes. To understand. So, let's pull my handy dandy calculator. Here's an example that I put for you yes, this morning with losses, profit, losses, profits. So, and, and we'll show that calculator and a lot of, of guys are looking for that, even uh, some of the best funded accounts. Some is 50%, some is 30%. So what do they ask? Let's say on, on day one, I make $400. Okay, on day two, so you can color this red, 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 in this particular case, this should be back green, see, like I color it, green. So let's say like this, green, all right? Green. Why it's not found green? It's giving me a headache on green. All right, so this is uh, 14 days. And let, let's put some profits. So your profit, loss, profit, loss. What they tell you, so the, now they change it to seven days. So it used to be 14 days. So we don't need all that crap here. Let me show you on the sample of eight days. All right? So let's say you plus 400, plus 14. Look, now let's say I make uh, $1,000, right? Because this is a $1,000, this is 100% of the total p &L. They don't want you to have any days above 30%. So they want you to show consistency for at least, say this, say this. if I make a $1,000 now, and a $1,000 here, and a $1,000 here, Look, now I don't have any days, four, seven days, 
that are more than 30%. Do you understand, yes or no? They want to make sure you are a consistent trader. And the way they judge it, they judge, it, they judge that is by showing that one day, like let's say you lost here $500, right? But then you made blah, 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 blah. Look, now you have two days at 30% or more. So your total PNL out of seven days traded here, first of all, I, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it says 14 days because it used to be the 14 days. Look, there are 14 days space, but now, now it's, you don't need 14 days, it's seven. You traded seven days, you have a total profit of 3,388, and you have only three consistent days. Why? Because this one is inconsistent, just above 30%, this one is above 30%, and this one is above 30%. Look, if I put 900, would that help? See, 900, and this would be 800, and this would be 850. Then this, the, the C, look, oh, I still have one inconsistent day here. See what I mean? And they are going to make, so perfect example, it's seven days, you did pretty good, you are up 28.78, you reached the 2500 target, because it was 25, you made 28.78, but you have one inconsistent day. They are going to want to see another day. So let's say you do 850 here, boom, now you have zero inconsistent days. Do you understand? Is everybody clear now? This is one in which is very difficult because even they tell you you can pass in one day or two days or seven days. This is where it becomes tricky to show them the consistency. And by the way, this is a great calculator for yourself. Agreed, Travis? I guess yeah, absolutely. It, I mean, this, this shows you if you... The problem with this for me is I am very much of a poker player. I might be 200, 200, 200, 200, because the market is within 10.200. And then there's one or two days like last week, this week where the stuff goes 60 points, and I put a big, big size. That is going to screw me with my trading style, because I'll show you, I'll show for instance. But you know what, I'm going to, because it, it screws my head right now. I'm going to put all the colors in white, and it's just numbers, plus and negative. So let's say I'm 400, 400, right? And now I have a huge day, and I'm making 6,500. And then I go back, 400 minus 300, 400 minus 300. Look. I still have one big inconsistent day. So they will want to see one more. But it's, oh, not, it's not horrible, it's only one. So let me see. If I do oh, they, it's not necessarily they want you to see one more. They're gonna make you keep trading until that $6,500 day is less than 30% of your total P&L. Yeah, and it's still an 89 because look, if I go back to my pattern, 400, 400 minus 300, boom. Let's say we have another crazy day. Now I make 8,000. See? So now this one. You this did 80,000. This one is gone. You did 80,000, not 8,000. Oh, I did. So did I do? Okay. So now I still have two now. See, that is the only thing in problems that I don't like. Well, and yeah. sorry, I just want to interject. And this is this is for the evaluation, Krishna. You you asked if the rules are different uh, if the account is real. So this is during the evaluation. They want to cons see consistency. Most of the firms do not have a consistency in the funded account. So when it's actually money that you're able to get paid on, uh, you don't have to worry about this. You can make as much money. Uh, every day that you want to. You're not limited to how much you can make. It's just during the evaluation because they want to see consistency. 
yeah. that you have to you have to actually limit your profits. You your blood. You have Ivan, and you have all those rules. Then you go to fund it. Whether it seems all real, we don't care. It's where you have a chance of pay, right? For simplicity, it could be seen, funded, or live. But live, I told you, is one. So to make it easy, this is where you have a funded shot, right? Here, they drop some rules. Some drop the daily limit, right? They don't care. You manage your as you want. Some daily limits are dropped, right? And the consistency rule is dropped. You, do, you don't have that. It's gone. This is gone. This is gone. But this is why you need a buffer and you need to manage this even more so to get funded. Because a lot of those funded accounts at this point, what they do is they start you at zero or they start you with the profit that you finish the EVA, right? Is that how it works? Uh, right. the, the ones I use uh, start you at zero. Start at zero? Yep. Yeah. So at this point, you are funded. So you are back to the drawing board, but they still have the $2,000 max drawdown. Right. The drawdown will always still be there. Right. So the consistent rule is not just to show them that it's not a one-time. It's not like you made 6500 in one day. Their requirement was 2000 and you passed. For them, that doesn't mean you are a consistent trader. Do you guys understand everybody in the room? Yes or no? Also, also, and this is where this is where I still maintain a live account on futures and a live account on options. Okay, but it's not big account. I have twenty five on futures, and at this point, I think I have seven thousand dollars in options. So I really reduced a lot. Everything else is long term investments and swing trading within retirement accounts. So I do the swing trading in the retirement accounts and I do the long-term hold into the tax account. So guys, you need to let us progress because if you ask question every two seconds, we're not going to finish, okay? So one second, please, okay? We have like a lot to cover and we're not progressing. But here's the thing. If I have $6,500 in their eyes, and I kept on making 400, 400. In their eyes was, I maxed my account size that day. And they don't necessarily like to see that. They want to see that you are a chill trader. I think they would have preferred that day that I make $400. So re like, let's replace that number. And it's kind of screwy because in a real account, if I keep on dollar cost averaging a winner, I'm going to kill it. So if I go here, boom, I remove and I go here and let's say it's around my normal stuff, then there's no inconsistent days. So for you to be consistent, that's a tip of the trade, is you kind of need to remain around the same sizes. Agreed? Travis, yeah, yeah, max your account because the, the market is flying because you are going to put yourself in the inconsistency room during the evaluation, absolutely. Yep, okay. So, if you have a size that you like, that you know you can pass the account, and we will help you, you know, we'll tell you what works for us in terms of size and stuff, then you're you, you practice on that, but. Otherwise, you got to be careful because my trading style would be would be like this. And this is how I make a lot more money. It's making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. It's breaking my 45.10 target I gave you from this 4,500 that I gave you perfectly with the 44.95, 75 uh, stop loss I gave you this week. It's breaking here. Oh. It's going to the next target, which is 45.20. I'm adding. 
Oh, no, he breaks 45.20, next target is 45.15. I'm adding. Before you know it, I have the equivalent of 50 MES on my real account of five years. I'm mad. I know this is the type of day I have to price. All the stuff on the indicator shows that. You cannot do that on the event, unfortunately. Because you are going to create those inconsistent days. And if you do that on the eval, it will push you the other days to do the same size and max the account and blow up when the ranges are only 10 points. Correct, Travis? Yep. Yep. Once you, you know, in that situation, if the market's going to keep going and yeah, you could have made a lot more money. But again, this is the evaluation for you to get a funded account. So, we're focused on on good processes and good trading. So once you hit the, you know, this the example we keep showing here, the profit target was twenty five hundred. The consistency rule was thirty percent, meaning they don't want to see any days over seven hundred and fifty dollars profit. So the market's going crazy. You have a good read on it. Once you hit seven hundred fifty dollars in profits, boom, you're done for the day in that evaluation account. That's that's all there is to it. And. I'll give you an example. There is some companies, they say, oh, pass the eval in one day, pass the eval in two days. So there's, there's some famous one that says two days eval, right? Mm -hmm. And the profit target is 2000 Well, if you use your brand and you've been where we've been, meaning that we have experience with this, and this is why we teach you the tips of the trade today. We have so many, and it's going to last weeks and weeks and weeks and months. We cannot teach you every tricks of the trade of the prop firm account in three hours today. It's impossible, okay? But we can teach you a lot of the tricks and, and, and you guys record, write notes and stuff. If they tell you, you can pass in two days with a 2K uh, target, and but you need to show two days of consistency where the consistency is 50%, so no profit should be more than 50%. You know already that you need to have a game plan. Within those two days, you are going to take the, the target and you are going to divide by two. So now you are going to say, okay, on day one, no matter what, I cannot make more than $1,000. Because if I make more than $1,000, I'm going to trigger the consistency rule. Do you see now the logic of the consistency rule? If I make day one a thousand, day two a thousand, boom, I pass. Because I respected right on the tick the 50% consistency rule of the total profit. If the total profit after two days is 2K and they never want you to have one day more than 50%, then you, you know already how to strategize that. Two days, 2K, I divide. And this is my max profit per day. So create a buffer. Maybe you do $800, $800, and maybe on day three you're lucky, right? And you catch up the $400. Now you respect it, you pass. Right, Travis? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and this, you know, it can be, I guess it can be kind of uh, concerning for some people that they're limiting your profits. And again, it's an evaluation. They want to see the consistency. And that we, we discussed that doesn't, usually most firms, they don't carry that consistency rule over into the funded account. However, building that, those habits, not trying to swing for the fences every day is going to help you be a better trader in your funded account. Because maybe you, you're in the habit of stopping after you make $1,000 a day and that could be a good thing because what if you're in your funded account, you make $1,000 and you just decide to keep trading because there's no limits. Well, then you lose $1,000 and then you lose $2,000. And you know now you're trying to, to dig yourself out of it when in all reality, you should have just stopped when you had $1,000 profit. So, And you have to understand, if I was coming into the business of funded account tomorrow morning, and I see the guy, 400, 200, 400, 400. So I'm like, he's a 400 trade, trader, let's say, with five MES, right? 
So as the risk manager of the prop firm, I'm looking at this and I'm like, he's a five MES guy, $400 trader, max profit, max loss 300, which by the way, I gave you this rule before. It's a great, great rule for funded account and for consistency on everything that you do in trading. Do not lose in a day more than the average of what you can make in a day. I repeat, because I'm giving you fucking triple gold here. Do not lose, and this is why I put those numbers here. Notice they are very close. Do not lose in a day more than your average profit in the last 30 days, let's say. If my average profit in the last 30 days is $400, any day you come close to that $400 loss, boom. You click the button and you lock yourself out. Some prop firms allow you to lock yourself and not trade for the rest of the day. Or some prop firms, or you shut down the thing because you are going to dig. There's so many nuances and secrets that I have learned over the years. But uh, do not lose in a day more than your average past 30 days profit and you'll be fine because we know our strategy and our tools are good. Are we clear? Yes or no? So after that, it's just a matter of running the odds. But if you are a prop firm account risk manager and he says 400, 200, he says, well, wow, good, 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 good. The guys the guy lose less in a day than he makes on average in the last 30 days. And then suddenly he sees $8,000. The risk manager doesn't know two things. He, he says, either this guy is a great trader, he knows to press his winners at the right time, or he's a gambler. The assumption from the risk manager is always going to be that you are a gambler. Do you understand everybody, yes or no? They want to see consistency of size. They want to see consistency of process because then you show them on the eval that you have, you have a, a strategy that can pull the consistency at the equal size, right? Everyone, this is gold, what I just gave you. Because this this right there eliminates the fact that you blow up your eval account. Right, Travis? Yeah. No, that's it's that's deal. actually that's one of the one of the things the firm that I use, the risk manager, says that all the time. Your your biggest losing day should never be more than your average winning day. Like like just like you explained it here. So yeah, it's it's spot on. Okay. You can tell I've done it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, so this is very important. That helps you for the eval, guys, and we'll give you the calculator. Let's progress in the conversation because we have so much and we need to work on trade of it today and tomorrow as well. But today is the ideal day to talk about all of this because the market, I think, is closed. Yeah, the futures oh. are open till 1 p.m., but, I mean, nothing's happening. So everybody's off. Okay. Low volume. We talked, so steps to really get small size buffer, system tested, be brutally honest with yourself, you know? You know, when you struggle with passing accounts, you, you got to have a trading journal and be honest with yourself. Unless I'm reading personally all your trades, Nobody is going to be honest. And you need an accountability partners and we are in the group, we're in the mastery, we're going to help you as much as you can. But of course, if I had to read your trades individually every day to pinpoint the common mistakes and pinpoint the common strength, it's not a $2,000 or whatever it is per year. And that would be like a $20,000 a month. You know, the, 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 the time I would have to put looking at your trades, you know. So you have to make the due diligence, you know, you know. And, and I think an accountability partner is great, you know. 
At one point, I don't mind if uh, uh, Travis, Adrian, or Andre review my trade and I review their trade. Because there's always, with a fresh eye, a common things that you can pinpoint. But overall, you have to be honest. You have to write in a trading journal. What have I done to blow up this ev evaluation? What I have done to be funded and then fuck it up in one day on my live account? All right? A lot of time at the beginning, I think, is you are going to breach a rule that you didn't even know existed. Don't you agree, Travis? Maybe yeah, I, well, the, the firm that I, uh, that I use, the, they've slimmed down uh, the rules. I've been, with, been trading with them for three years now. When I started with them, there's a lot more rules um, and all that. And yeah, I, I, <laughs> I broke every rule. You know, one, one account, I broke one rule. Then another account, I broke another rule. And it was just, like you said, the learning process of the rules and, and going through that, you're, you're going to break the rules. Um, and that's sometimes that's the best way to learn. And I, I certainly did that. Every rule that they had, um, I, I broke it in some form or fashion. Um, and that's, that's what made me learn how to develop my rules around it and, and how, to, uh, how to manage that. Now, I think that segment very much into something that I want to talk about before I finish the bullet points. If you really, really, really want that within the next two years to be a funded account across different firms, stack, and different levels of funding, listen to me attentively, guys, because I've done it for almost 30 years. Do not, this is why I'm not even giving you the name of the firms we are using now for the next two or three weeks. Because I have a responsibility, a moral responsibility to train you, to send you to war and knowing that my guys that listens to me, when they go to war, they have the highest chance of success. And they have the highest chance of not blowing up funded account after funded account and fees after fees. 